we up here, we work a lot. And I think a lot of times we, we, we take stuff for granted. Like, I don't talk to you guys as much as I, as much as I need to. The fact that uh, we're not going to be able to joke at his Hall of Fame ceremony. We're not going to be able to say, hi, I got five, you got four. The fact that we're not going to be able to say, if we would stay together, we could have got ten. Those are the things that you, you can't get back. And with the loss of my father, my sister, and my thing, that's the only thing I wish I could just say something to him again. Last time I talked to him was when we were here and I asked him to get 50 and he got 60. It's the last time I spoke to him. And I just wish I could have, you know, so it, it definitely changes me. I have to, because I work a lot. You, you, you guys know what I do. I, I, I work probably more than the average guy, but I just really have to now just take time and just call and say, I love you. Rick Fox call, finally called me and said, man, I love you. B. Shaw called me. So I'm going to try to do a better job of just reaching out and just talking to the people rather than always procrastinating because you never know. Life is too short. I never, I could never imagine nothing like this. I was thinking the other day, I've, I've never seen anything like this. All the basketball idols that I grew up, I see them. They're old. Like I used to be at home when you came to interview me, Ernie. I used to watch the great round, mile round and rebound. Now I'm working with him. I used to want to be Dr. J. He used to live next door to my mother in Orlando. My father used to tell me about the three great big men. I met them. I seen them. And the fact that uh, we lost probably the world's greatest Laker, world's greatest basketball player. It's just, I, listen, people are going to say, take your time and get better, but it's going to be hard for me. I already don't sleep anyway, so, but I'll, uh, I'll figure it out. My condolence goes out to his family, his mom, his dad, his sisters, the other families, everybody involved. Laker organization, I talked to Jeannie and Linda, and, uh, People here are hurting, especially in this organization. You know, some people have to get treatment, and some people just just don't understand. Because it hit all of us out of nowhere. I didn't want to believe it. I said to myself, I, I hope somebody, some butt face made this up, and it's not true. I didn't want to believe it. And then after getting all the, com the, the calls, and then you finally feel it concerned, it just, it just, you know, my spirit just, uh, left my body. I just wish I could be able to say one thing to the one last thing to the people that we we lost because uh, you know once you're gone you're gone forever and you know we should never take stuff like that uh, for granted.